guys, good to have you all back. Happy Sunday. I have vintage treasures that I need to share with you. Okay, a small haul video. I went to a, a flea market in the next village. So I found some lovely items there that I want to share. Then I went thrifting with a very good friend of mine. We had so much fun, visited a couple of shops. And well, we found some awesome treasures. And also I have two Instagram hauls, two small Instagram hauls from ladies that are both from Amsterdam. I still love them though. Yes, because I have a big heart. Even though you're from Amsterdam, I could also love you. Okay, where to start? I think I'm going to start with my um, flea market finds. Let me show you. I found some lovely books. Uh, some of them I already have, but they were just too good to pass up. I already have this one, but this is my second copy. It is um, herbs, herbs and such. And it has these images in them. Aren't these lovely? I just absolutely love them. Yes, and then some writing as well. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Um, so yeah, now I have a second copy, which means I can cut it up. I think this is an older one than the, than the one that I have, because this is beautiful matte paper. And I believe the other one that I have is more glossy paper. Yes, very old. Yes, this is a dictionary, a pocket size dictionary. It has been covered with uh, plastic. I absolutely love the advertisement on the back. I might be able to take the plastic off and do something. But look at all the tape. Look at all the boo-boo tape. <laughs> yes. At one point, it was 65 cents. So it's a very old um, Dutch dictionary. But it's already falling apart, which means I'm just going to use it all up. I'm going to use it all up. Yes. I'm going to try to sort of do something with the cover as well. Uh, well, I just had to get it. <laughs> because... <laughs> of the cover i just really like this it's not paper it's actually uh plastic lobbies it is uh, no plastic yes so it's stuck there it is it was up to down it is a cookbook uh an older one electro cookbook i don't even know from when this is it's probably 50s Probably something 50s. Uh, it does have um, some of these awful pictures in there. Yes, these. <laughs> that I absolutely love. But I also saw that there was a treasure in there. Yes, when I opened it up. Well, this is a treasure. Someone wrote in their own recipe. But then I found this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It is falling apart. It's really old. Some uh, Something has already uh, come off. You can actually sort of fold it open. It's ex expense. Look at this. Now that is old, lovies. That is old. Isn't it gorgeous? Yes, this came off. It needs to be stuck somewhere. Probably here. I don't know. I'm going to try to fix it. Isn't that an absolute treasure? Yes. Well, I like the book. But as soon as I saw this, because, you know, I flipped through it. I was like, close it up. Buy it. Yes. So a cookbook and... An absolute treasure. Now, this is something that I normally wouldn't pick up. But, you know, it sort of intrigued me. Um, this is all about Christmas. I don't really do... Well, I love Christmas, but I don't do Christmas crafting. Well, not a lot. I just don't enjoy it. But I thought this was interesting. This is like um, a game. A game. And then there are all these lovely images in them. Very colorful, some of them. And it's like what you can do with Christmas games and uh, songs. See, songs and recipes and crafts item thingies. Look at that. Oh, those are lovely. Yes. Yeah, so I thought, why not? Why not take one with you? Then I saw this one. Well, I actually didn't see this one. Uh, a friend of mine um, that went with me saw it. And she was like, oh my gosh, that is it's something that you like, yes. And I do. But I already have a couple of them. And it's fantastic. These are uh, collectible albums. These are probably from the 1930s. Do I see a treasure? Oh, sort of a treasure. Okay, well, treasure. Uh, 1920s, 1930. So, oh, 1938. Um, and it has all these collectible, beautiful collectible cards in here. And it is a uh, complete, and they are, oh, look at this. Yes, they're gorgeous, but I already have three or four of those. And I was like, mm, do I need any more? So um, I asked the lady what she wanted for this, because it was like one booth. And uh, well, I have five books. And she says, well, give me five euros. So I was like, yes, uh, well, okay, because, you know, Basically, they're one euro piece, which is ridiculous because this needs to be at least five euros. So those are my books. 
Fantastic. Okay, I have more um, paper items. I didn't buy, well, slash find a lot at the flea market because most of it was like uh, tools and baby toys and clothing. <laughs> yeah. But yes, I am not in the market for any of those. Uh, this is Peter Rabbit and it it is a, a stationary set. It's not that old because it says 2002, but it still had some um, of the lovely um, envelopes in here and some writing paper and i thought well and it was 20 cents or something then there was this big box full of um cards the cards were all newer and all sort of holiday cards and i already have a gazillion but they were 10 cents a piece and then i found this one which is um very sort of 70s i think it's from russia and I just, I read, I love the size of it and I really love the image. Very 70s, love the colors. And then I found this. Just an empty bag from Japan that probably had cards in here. And I absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved it. So I told the lady, these two. And she was looking at me like, do you want the bag? Yes, the bag is a treasure. <laughs> Fantastic treasure. Speaking of treasures, now this is the, the biggest treasure that I found at the flea market. I am going to show you. It's so cool. It was underneath a table in a box. I, my eye just caught a glimpse of it and I was like, oh my gosh, something I might need. Okay, it is Otto Bridge Jr. It's the perfect bridge teacher made in the United States. It's completely falling apart because this is actually a piece of the side. It used to be a small uh, box and it is all about bridge. Yeah, um, there's, there was this in here that you can order a new one. And these are sort of how to play the game. Details, analysis of bidding and play. I do not play bridge. I have no clue, lobbies. But look at the old paper. Just fantastic. Then this is a big envelope. Look at all of this. Well, I was already really happy. Auto bridge. Yes. And this is the auto bridge thing. Okay, I'm going to sort of place it over here. Yes. I don't play bridge. I have no clue. But you can move this up. And down and slide and then do it. It's an interactive or whatever. Isn't it cool? It is intact. It does work. And then I have, uh, I think, 10 of these cards that you place underneath. Yes. And then you do the switchy, bridgey thing. I don't know. They're double sided. It's fantastic paper. I'm not going to play bridge with it, but it's going to be like fantastic paper for a junk journal. Isn't that amazing? I've never seen it. I've never seen it. Yeah, so I have um, 10 or 15 of these. It's just awesome. Now, and this was the bottom part of the of the box. But it is falling apart, but I don't care. I would have... I've paid five... I paid five euros for it. Um, but honestly, I would have paid five euros for this alone. And then with this. So cool, right? Oh. Absolutely love it. I've never seen it. It's an absolute treasure. Well, I'm even going to keep this. Yes, because it says the perfect. The perfect something. Okay, a um, couple of miscellaneous items um, at the flea market. Not very vintage -y. Well, they are, they are quite a bit older, but very useful. I found four of them. They have these small compartments. I need to clean them, lobbies. I need to clean them. Small compartments. That you can fill up. Now what do I use these for? I have a huge bead collection. Um, so I'm going to put beads in here. Charms. You can put paper clips in. Normal clips. Uh, eyelets. Brads. Poster stamps. Small, oh, all sorts of small things. Yes. And um, all four of them were. They were all together 50 cents. Hello and thank you. Yes. Well that's a steal. That's a really good buy. And they're a little bit older. So let's just call them vintage. <laughs> Okay, not vintage at all, but I really like them. I found these two small wooden crates. They're newer. They're newer. It does say something on it, but, you know, it's printed on. This used to be a planter because I took out all the dirt and what have you. I don't know what's in here, but uh, I'm going to clean them out. And I think they're going to look lovely on my desk. Put in uh, ephemera pieces, cards or, you know, paper bits, what have you. It's just unusual storage. Yeah. So... Or I can put plants in. That would work as well. So, yeah, some storage items. Another item. Big one. There we go. Yes. 
Electro. Electro is a game, you probably know it. I'm sorry, I need to clean my desk. Um, I love it. And this is actually, and I'm so happy I found this one. This is the one that I had when I was little. Because this is so 70s. Yes, look at the clothing. Why would you... This is the way that we were dressed back then. Yeah, I know. Should, yeah, should have been, you know, forbidden. <laughs> but okay. Uh, this is the one that I had. Uh, so the images are not spectacular like most of my uh, electro cards that I have. I have some beautiful electro cards. But this is actually the ones that I used. Like, I played with this. And I do love the images. I just, you know... I remember all of this. <laughs> so they're just fantastic, colorful images from the 70s. This is, I was four or five. Yeah, so um, early 70s. And the back sides are uh, black and white. So, oh my gosh, yes, I remember this. This was a difficult one. <laughs> oh my gosh, so I had so many of these cards. Yeah, and I use these lovies. Um, in journals, you can make a tall skinny journal. I use some of them in a, a flip over journal. So I just love them. It. I don't think I'm going to use this. Well, probably not. I don't know. It's just nostalgia. For me, it's pure nostalgia. The game would probably work. Yeah, I'm not going to play the game. I'm just going to enjoy it. So I am very, very happy. I found a piece of my childhood. Oh, yes, I remember. I remember it. Was that it for the flea market? I think so. Um, I'm going to do the two Instagram ladies before I do the bigger thrift haul. This is my small haul from Laura at Paper Daisy Treasures. I'm going to link her shop below because I do believe Laura ships internationally. She's amazing. Uh, and she recently reopened her shop. So I'm very, very happy. But I, and I found some treasures. Yes. Um, alphabet index cards. Dividers, new in the packaging, in a lovely sort of blue color. And I love using these. These are just amazing. So very happy. She also had green ones, different ones. So yeah, I love using these. Absolutely fantastic. So two of these. Then she had binders. Yes, you can take this off glue it in and have it as a binding system. Now, um, normally I wouldn't know what to do with this, but the other day I saw a project, I think it was from Eva at Bohemian Crafting. She did something with this and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to have them. So uh, lucky for me, Laura had some and I'm going to do a project with this. Someday, someday. And then she had these cards, don't even know what it is. It is French, I think it's French. Yes, that you can fill in something. Just cool. <laughs> I don't really know because I don't read re really read French. Sort of, you know, guest checks or something. But it's lovely papers, have heavy paper and I love the writing on here. Then she had this. Yeah, no clue. It's an Arlock Ardex. Important card one on the top and card 24 at the bottom. So I think this is for a flip telephone thingy filler i think so yes oh yes definitely definitely see because it's there, there's an alphabet on the it's like um a flip thi a flip thing that you sort of move and then you press the button i don't know how to explain it it kept your telephone numbers I have one somewhere. I have one somewhere. I think it's something like it. But I absolutely love the paper. Look at all the interesting this on here. And then there. Uh, yeah. So, yes, thank you. Oh, oh my gosh. Look. Yes, here's the... Here's the device. Yes, it's a this. Oh my gosh. It's a this. But it's just a filling. So, it's not the actual uh, device. But I just mainly want to use it for the filling. See that? Yes, it's this. So cool. And it was in the original packaging. So fantastic. Now, she sent me some lovely gifts. Some handmade uh, paper. She had these coin envelope thingies. And then some papers that for me to use. Love it. And then some also big ones. <laughs> now, Laura is... Oh, I love it, Laura. Is really into a pink. <laughs> and cute 
and you know pastel and bright and colorful and then she sent me this this was a lovely gift isn't it amazing it's a key um hanger thingy keychain and it's an actual sort of small book i do not dare to open it but i think it's real it's real pages did you make it laura could be that she made this because she's brilliant so thank you so much aren't these just amazing items yes and then the other lady and i believe that the two are good friends heidi and heidi is vintage bunnies amsterdam i know amsterdam <laughs> and i found a couple of items beautiful piece of fabric i just absolutely love this it has sort of the small medallions uh, with florals and then polka dots and i love the color yes it's a uh, virus world by gutterman Cool, right? Yes, for journal covers. Then uh, this, and I recently found another one. So I have two now, and I absolutely love it. Um, oh my gosh, yes. I cannot even remember buying these, but it, it's amazing. Look at that. It's metal plates, sort of copper tile, Stockholm Sweden, and it has a patent on here with uh, dates and uh, countries. My country is not on here unfortunately and then it says original maze separator and this says when empty return to the dynamite factory <laughs> oh my god siding number 18 kempton park isn't it amazing i absolutely love it you cannot i cannot uh, print or stamp with it so these are going to be uh sort of plates on on journals but i absolutely love them fantastic i believe this was a gift if not i pause a cabinet card a beautiful one Yes, big one. And then um, a lovely envelope from 1938 with a letter, handwritten letter inside. So that's an absolute treasure. And uh, uh, blueprints. Blueprints from somewhere. Oh, Amsterdam, of course. <laughs> uh, they're big, they're huge. I, I just love the blueprints. I need to start using them. Aren't these great? Yes, I have two of them. And they're older. Oh, this is for a school in Beverwijk. I used to live very nearby, I know. And this is Katwijk aan Zee. My mom used to live there when she was way younger. They smell really nice. Oh, they smell lovely. Yes. So um, that's it for my Instagram haul. I'm going to link both ladies below. Yes, on there on, on Instagram. Are you ready for the big uh, treasures that I found uh, thrifting? Let me show you. So I went thrifting with a very good friend of mine. She lives in a different part of the Netherlands. So she picked me up and we went to one of my favorite shops. She had never been there. It was so disappointing. Oh my gosh, really. She never been there. And I was like, normally there's good stuff here, but there wasn't nearly anything. So we quickly had to come up with something, oh well, someplace else. So there was another one nearby that I visited once a couple of years ago. And actually it was a pretty good one. And then she took me to one of her favorites. So we visited three of them and we found some lovely treasures. Not a whole bunch, but interesting stuff. I am going to start with haberdashery. So a couple of pieces of fabric, a, a, a fantastic one. It's at the bottom. This was actually a whole, they had a whole box of these small pieces of fabrics. And they were 10 cents a roll. And I was thinking, well, why not? They're smaller pieces, but you know, you can make something with them. And I really like um the printed design on here i really love this then oh well florals and this was 25 cents yes big enough for two journal covers if i wanted to lovely colors lovely colors then i found this and i'm happy i found this because guess what fourth of july is coming up well uh, in case you don't know fourth of july is only celebrated in the United States. Yes, so it's not a thing in, thing in the Netherlands at all. However, I do celebrate 4th of July because that's my wedding date. <laughs> uh, but I think I want to do something for 4th of July. Um, so I have this beautiful fabric that sort of reminds me of the flag. Yes. And then this for fall, it's a beautiful sort of maroon color with fallen leaves and acorns. Yeah. You know, a funny thing, yes, uh, the Dutch work word for, well, the Dutch word acorn is actually not an acorn, but it's squirrel. <laughs> sort of related to each other, so it's very confusing. An acorn in the Netherlands is a squirrel, and an acorn in, um, well, in English is um, an eikeltje. 
that's Dutch. Okay, a uh, couple of two floral pieces. I love this. It's like a landscape. See that? Very pretty pastel colors. It's a landscape with a farm and with hills and such. It is a piece of whatever. Do it at a pay one euro. Well, it's a little, it was a little bit more expensive for a smaller piece, but I really enjoyed the, the print on it. Uh, the other one, this was, uh, I believe, 25 cents. Yes, it was a pillowcase. Well, sort of a pillowcase. Then another floral piece. I love my florals. Bigger piece. This was 75 cents. Lovely yellow with, well, you know, pink roses. You cannot go wrong with this. And then I found this and I was really excited. <laughs> yes. This was, uh, it is dirty. I need to clean it. I, I um, shared it with, with with my friend. So I cut it in half. It's a bigger piece. Look at all the clocks. And the gears and the compasses and amazing yeah so and it's a big piece this is fantastic for journal cover it has some some stains here and there so i need to go and wash it try to clean clean it and if not i'm gonna grunge it even more so yeah this was i was really happy that i found this this was the first piece that i found that made me happy that day <laughs> yeah so that's it for the fabrics then um not a lot of woolies but i found uh, a bag that was 25 cents i shared it with my friends so we we each have half of it and this probably these fringe probably came from a jacket with you know the sleeves with the fringe or a purse or boots or something they're small suede uh, strips and i think these are going to make great uh tag toppers a topper on a tag yeah that because it's, it's they're just small pieces but I think for tag toppers or something like it, or I don't know, I think it's interesting. And it was 25 cents and I shared it with my friend. She also has the other half of this, it was a bag full. Then I found this, it was in plastic cellophane. It was just one euro and 50 cents or even one euro and 25 cents, which is a steal because um, there are these in here and these can be very expensive. Lace bobbins, lace bobbins. And there are oh, blah, blah, blah. how many in here? Two, four, six, seven. Seven of them. Yes, they can be really expensive. I, I have several uh, ones, different ones. I really like that. And then also you had these. I don't know, lovies. Yes, probably for weaving. I think for weaving or something like it. But I, I think they're just really, really interesting. I'm going to put them on display with woolies all around them. Yes. So uh, six of these. And this is most likely for either weaving or yarning something that I don't use. It's a, wow, dangerous device. But all of it for one euro and 25 cents. That's amazing. I mainly bought it for these because I really like this. As a, a You can make this into a dangle on the side of your spine. They're really, really cool. So, yes, I'm going to put this with haberdashery, even though it's not haberdashery. This is something my friend found. Not this. Well, she found this last time we went uh, thrifting. She found a box, a new box of these clips. She didn't know what, what they were. I thought I knew what they were. I was right. These are actually for uh, hairdressers. These clips was new in the box a whole box i believe she paid 50 cents for it uh but i'm gonna put something on here yes clip it on something and and uh well let's say a label or something and you, you can whatever these are for um hairdressers i don't i don't know to make curls or a weave i don't know um if you're dutchy i believe these were used for watergolf or uh, permanentjes or perms perms yes perms i don't know i just thought they were really cool and uh, i have a gazillion i can even alcohol dye these yes i don't know i don't know i thought i just thought they were interesting um i did not find a lot of books do you want to see the books let me show you the books okay so at my favorite thrift shop i did find this one and for me it was worth the trip because flower fairies yes 75 cents very cheap and an english one so i absolutely love those i absolutely love those i i have a gazillion already so i can cut these up they actually had two because you know my friend was there she needed one 
So we both found one of these. And then I found this. Not old at all. But I just it's it looked interesting in the in the bookcase. And it's it's new, it's newer. But what it does have is these sort of drawings of uh, architecture drawings. And I absolutely love these. And I think these will make for into well, I do love all the I do love architecture. Oh, I know this place. <laughs> it's in The Hague. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. I do But I really love the, the these sort of images. They're a little bit glossy. Uh, but still interesting, right? I've never seen them. Oh, look. Oh, that's also in Rotterdam. I know this. Yes. I know this. Well, and a piece of history as well. So unusual unusual but i think fun i think it's going to be fun so uh one euro and 50 cents that's quite all right then in the other sh one of the other shops did i find all of these together i think so uh i believe i have a big one of those <laughs> like a bigger format i don't i don't know i don't know what did i pay for it um two euros and 25 cents a little bit more expensive but it has these in here yes a fashion this is all about fashion and i love my fashion you know i love fashion yeah so that's cool really really nice if i do have the bigger version now i have a smaller one that i can oh look at that oh i really want to make a digital kit with just this this idea let me know if you if you would be interested in you know just ladies uh undergarments from you know early 1900s I just think it's so so uh, pretty, just interesting. Yeah, so uh, book, book. Then I found this, not really a book. I paid 50 cents for it. Um, and it had these in here, just two of them. But you can uh, fold them out and color them, I guess. It's like old uh, cars. I just thought it was really interesting. Just had these, oh, well, they're four. No, it's the... A front and a back is the front and the back yes and you can maybe even this it says here you can color them yourself yes there used to be more in here but you know there isn't <laughs> there's just one left but for 50 cents i thought it was really interesting this would could make for a lovely cover and then utilize this somehow I do not know then a big atlas i already have one of those but with a brown cover and the brown cover there was also one with the brown cover but my friend didn't have that one i was like you need to have it uh this says uh batavia on the bottom and her says jakarta so i don't know if there really if there really is a difference other than the the color on the front um mine was a little bit more expensive mine was two euros and 25 cents still a steal for this um very old uh, atlas this is the index and then these are the are the maps aren't these gorgeous look at the colors they're just amazing they're just amazing i do already have uh well the brown one i'm gonna check if they're the same i don't know used to be 12 1947 there you go there you go and it's a it's full of these oh i just love my maps yeah so that was a very good find i think this was a very very good find love it smells old smells old was that it for the books oh my gosh lovies see not a lot of books yay good for me um what i do have is loads of paper bits let me show you i said loads and i do have loads but i have boxes full of them <laughs> i'm not going to show you the boxes uh i'm going to start with this this wasn't in a box this was like this and i sort of peeked and it has paper in it just paid one euro for it and i thought it might have been because this i don't know if you can tell this is the very light color blue that the airmail paper uses it's not airmail paper because it is actually 80 grams so i could print on it but i was thinking you can make the faux airmail envelopes with these that'll be amazing so a new pack of probably 250 500 sheets even uh i did split it with my with my friends paid one euro 80 uh, 80 grams uh printing paper but i'm probably going to use it to make um airmail letters or airmail envelopes so that was a good find 
then we found we found three boxes full of envelopes we split them and they were gorgeous let me show you the these these were the ones that we uh, first found um they're beautiful envelopes very heavy uh quality these are for um uh, greeting cards and such yes so gorgeous with the gums don't lick it and i just took out a couple of them so we found a whole box cream color beautiful i don't know how many were in there but but probably uh 500 or something yes so we split it and um i believe we paid five euros for the box i know ridiculous ridiculous then we found this box again beautiful quality this is um these are envelopes with a window i don't know if you can tell it has a structure on it this is almost like watercolor paper it's really heavy quality really beautiful it has a, a strip a closure a tape lock it says tape lock it's by the brand conqueror so these are luxury envelopes really beautiful really really beautiful probably for uh, a company like a lawyer's company or uh, a notary or or something so big box split it a couple of hundreds of them so happy happy uh, seven euros you paid seven euros and then this one big envelopes again with the tape lock thingies yes a4 size well probably a little bit bigger than a4 size they are white white but they're fantastic i love to use these to make uh, folios with and what have you i normally use um uh junk mail for this but now i, I have a whole box of, well i don't not a whole box but a lot a lot and then both of us we are really into file folders <laughs> I mean, found these. I just uh, took out a couple of them, uh, lobbies. There are two types, two different types. We did haggle for this. Well, I didn't do any haggling because my friend was very good at it. <laughs> very good at it. Um, I, we mostly have the blue ones. We have red and blue. It is for some sort of system that you can probably hang it in or whatever. For our NATO. I don't, I don't know. I don't know it. This is one that has sort of a... Um, an accordion thingy here sleeve you can probably open it up and have it as a real file folder but i really like it with all the different stuff on it i'll probably take this off or utilize it in in some sort of way you can maybe even fold it or i don't know i don't know i have a couple of them so very interesting these were the red ones we just had a couple of red ones but enough and then a whole bunch of these blue ones from the same brand and these are actually pouches see they're pouches so very interesting very interesting not really vintagey um but i like them jalima.com i don't know i've never seen them uh, but i thought they were really really cool was that it for the paper items yes i well, told you a lot um but we had multiple of them we bought in bulk this is the only other paper item that i bought uh euro decoration these are um uh rub over transfers this is for glass and metal and very 70s <laughs> very 70s decals do you call them decals i think so but i really like the it's new in the packaging i really liked uh, the print on it very 70s sort of you know retro what else do i have um Oh, storage items. But gorgeous storage items. Let me show you. So I have two small boxes. Well, one really small one. I forgot I put this in here for safe traveling. <laughs> uh, also found three. Uh, they're called thimbles, right? I just love them. I've started a, a, a small collection. I believe I have like about 15 now of these. Or 12. With, guess what? Acorns on them. Well, squirrels. But in the Netherlands, we call these acorns. And, and actual acorns. And... um gloucester cathedral these were 50 cents a piece i could not resist them small uh sort of cardboard box this is 50s 60s i have no clue what used to be in here but i just love these boxes it was just 50 cents i had to take it with me there is a piece of paper does it say no it's actually sort of a tissue paper type of whatever i'll probably put in a uh, small collectible cards or small bits and bobs i just love these now this is a, a tin a tin uh it is absolutely gorgeous guys the top is totally discolored and rusty and damaged because this is the actual color of the box 
beautiful gold and green and red. It used to have a lock, doesn't have the lock anymore. I absolutely love it. It is beat up and damaged, but I really like it. I absolutely love the, the legs as well. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to open it up like so because there's a mirror inside. <laughs> yeah, and I do not want to be in the mirror. Okay, there we go. Uh, see, big mirror. Yes, so a makeup box for your brushes or I don't know. It is absolutely beautiful. It's really dirty inside. I need to clean it because I think this is mold or or what have you. And this was the original color. Look how beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous, right? I know. Now, uh, they had lots of these. Well, multiple of these in the same style, but a, a bit bigger. And most of them were around... 10 to 15 euros so rather expensive and then this one was two euros why i think they mispriced it or they were like well it doesn't have the lock and there's mold inside and it's really damaged well to me well the the, the mold is not a bonus but the damage is a bonus okay i have two more big storage items that i um, need to sort of adjust my camera to so i'm gonna stand up and show you the big items it fits, it fits. Okay, it's not that old, old, but I absolutely love it. It is a suitcase. It's decorative, lovies. It does miss the, the handle here. It has the locks, so it does lock, but it does miss a handle here. Guess what? I can, I can make something. Yeah, uh, it's a little bit beat up. It's like a suitcase with all the... You know, the other day I did a lovely project with travel folio with these luggage labels. Yeah, fantastic. I'm going to open it up because um, it is velvety on the inside. Yeah, and it's it's rather clean. Yeah, so I'm going to fill it up with, with papers or small books or what have you. It is a decorative piece for sure. But also I think uh, it will be functional. I think it's going to be functional. Isn't it lovely? What did I pay for it? Three euros? Three, three euros. Whoa. For me that was that was an absolute steal yes i just need to fix the the handle here it doesn't even isn't even necessary because i'm not going to travel with it or anything i just love it uh then for another big one for this one i had to zoom you out even more it's a it's not vintage or anything but i just really liked it it's a wooden sort of crate a wooden box i paid three euros and fifty cents for it it looks like it's hand painted it's probably like from a production uh whatever um a wooden box, big wooden box. How big is it? It is um, like 16 inches by probably 10 or something. And it has these on the sides. So cool, right? Same on the other side? No, just the front. It has this on the front to hunters. Yeah, it's, it's darker green. And then this Curtis and Harvey smokeless diamond. I don't know. Fine sporting ammunition. Improved, well... I just like it. It's like an advertisement piece. But it's a big box. So I can keep um, paper pads in here. Or um, uh, items that I made that I keep. Because I always get the question. What do you do with everything that you make? Well, I keep it. I keep it. And then this could be like a treasure chest. Cool, right? Really like it. And decorative. Very decorative. Now I just need to find a spot for it. I quickly checked the time and we do have a lot of time left. So why not show you something that I bought recently uh, online? Not really old and really exciting, but I was excited. So I found a box with 900 of these. And these are uh, in Dutch, it's loan sockjes. It's like coin envelopes, like uh, envelope for your wages. 900 of them, <laughs> new, in the box. And I love them. You can decorate them. You can make flippy flappy floppies out of these. You can fold them in. Something nice. Oh, yes. So 900. And um, I paid 5 euros for the box. The shipping costs were way more expensive than, than the actual box. But I have 900. So yes, I did share with my lovely friends. Because that's what we do. Um, speaking of uh, sharing with friends. My very good friend. We... Uh, sort of surprise and spoil each other and uh, she spoiled me this time and I asked her I can share it with you I can share it with you so here's what she got me some fan amazing treasures uh, not that amazing but she knew I needed this it's elastic it's round elastic and this is in the color black I uh, already have some um, white 
Uh, I use this for elect elastic bindings. Oh, it's actually double. I didn't know this. This is heavy stuff. Heavy stuff. Yes, baby elastic. So she found some. Yes. And then she found me these. Oh my gosh. It's an almanac from 1940. It is French. It is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this the tape measure here. And oh, it's so, so beautiful. Yes. Lots of advertisement pieces. It's so beautiful, guys. Um, and information. It's all in French. So no clue. No clue. Telephone numbers and dates for holidays or what have you. Calendar, the culture, like a culture calendar. And an actual um, um, planner. See? With the dates on it from 1940. Look at this. Oh my gosh. It's an absolute amazing. Oh, and then it's full of these small... Oh my gosh, that's not a nice. Ooh, let's let's go. Let's do this. That wasn't a nice image. It's full of these um, lovely small little uh, treasures. I found a couple of them. Puzzles in here, and uh, 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 there was another piece of treasure and another piece of treasure. Yeah, amazing. Absolutely love it, and it's such good condition as well. Um, she had these. These are um, something with. A loan stamp card. I don't know. I love them. You can fill them in. These are from the 70s. Just really cool. Then she had a couple of these. Again, for um, uh, to ask Lee for vacation. Yes. Newer. They're newer, but I don't care. <laughs> you can fill them in. It's just lovely. And I absolutely love the color as well. Look at all the, the grit and the numbers. Yeah. Then some odds and ends that she found... You can put this around um, a, a cup of coffee. Remember, always espresso yourself. See? Like this. Yeah. Oh, you need coffee. Well, I don't because I don't drink coffee. <clears throat> Again, stuff from a post office. With numbers. Odds and ends. See that? It's just, I just, I just like this. I just like this. Yeah. Isn't it cool? I have no clue how she found this. Um, I'm going to keep this for later because that's an absolute treasure. Yes. Well, <clears throat> this is the same friend uh, that I went thrifting with. So, file folders. Yes, she keeps finding them. And so do I. So do I. I don't have these. They're big. I have two colors. They're by Panther. No flappies. Just a normal folder. But I really love them. So, she said she had some of it with me uh, and then um, she found me this well uh, basically she found one herself one of those books and she took it apart um, Algemeen Rekenwerk a modern hulpboek for the volledige rekenkunde it's like calculus calculus and she took the one that she had apart because she really wants to use it uh, and it has these tabs with the numbers so she gave me piece. she gave me oh, oh my gosh she gave me a piece of this and then also on the bottom because there's a number 47 on here and she knows that I love my number 47. And it has all of these rows and rows of numbers. Fantastic. So she gave me a couple of signatures. Yeah. And then, and then she found another one. <laughs> she found another one. So we both have the book now. It's just amazing. Look, look at this. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? Look at all of these. Yes, uh, well, it was very expensive for back in the day, 30 um, guilders. Does it have a date? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't know, I don't really see a date. But this is probably um, 1920s, 1930s. This is, oh, 1923. See, I know my stuff. It's from Amsterdam, well, you know. And it has, uh, it's full of these. Yes. So I have never seen anything like it. It's an amazing, it's a tall skinny journal. It's a, an amazing big book and I love it. I really love that I have one intact and that I have one that I can actually use. Yes. So, oh my gosh, she knows I love her so much. Yeah, that's an amazing gift. Thank you so much. Was that it for today? That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed all my lovely vintage treasures. I'll be back again tomorrow with another video. 
So tomorrow it's Monday, it's July 1st, so it's a new month, a new theme and a new digital kit. Are you excited? I am. So I'm not going to say anything about it. You're going to find out tomorrow. So tomorrow I'll be back with a video telling you what we're going to do this month um, and also show you the fantastic kit plus freebies that I've made for the month of July. So I'm hoping um, you'll be able to watch tomorrow. So until tomorrow, bye guys.